Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Layla, and for this video, we're gonna be talking about Coast Fi. I am continuing my FIRE series. FIRE is an acronym that stands for Financial Independence Retire Early, and it is such an amazing movement. I encourage everybody to look into it no matter your financial situation because it will probably inspire you, motivate you, and you'll probably find something in the movement that resonates with you and you, you will wanna go after it. I have created a few videos before this one, Traditional FIRE, Fat FIRE, as well as Lean FIRE. I definitely suggest you go back and watch those if you've never heard of the FIRE movement or if you are new to it. But otherwise, today we are going to be talking about Coast Fi. And you'll notice that with this one, I am leaving off the RE part of FIRE. Honestly, I don't know if that's how it's typically presented, but in my opinion, the RE part of it should be left off, but you could leave it on there if you wanted to. The FIRE movement as a whole is primarily focused on financial independence. The retire early part is, it just depends on your situation, but many people don't actually retire. And I feel like with the Coast Fi one, you are not fully retired. So I'm going to leave it off. Coast Fi is one of my favorite varieties of the FIRE movement. With this one, even though FI is in the word, you are not actually completely financially independent. However, you have enough money saved and invested to coast to retirement. That's where the, the word coast comes from without having to add any extra money to your portfolio. Your coast fire number is typically much smaller than a traditional fire number. So something like $250,000 compared to a million. And that's because you are allowing this large chunk of money that is invested to naturally grow with time. These are just random numbers that I'm throwing out, but I will go through an actual calculator and show you an example on the screen. But let's say at 35 years old, you have $250,000 invested, but you don't want to truly retire until traditional retirement age, or maybe a little bit sooner, but it's going to be, you know, a couple of decades, few decades into the future. Then by that point, your 250K will turn into enough for you to actually retire off of. With Coast Buy, you still could retire early, so before the age of 62, 67, whatever the traditional age may be, or you could wait until then, until you actually, or even after that, until you truly retire and start using those investments. So with that said, let me actually show y'all an example and a great calculator to use for you to determine your own Coast Fi number. So we're gonna hop over to the website Wallet Burst. This is the best calculator that I've found. It's easy to understand, easy to plug in the numbers without anything too complicated. I will have this link down below, but let's scroll down to the actual calculation. These numbers will already be here when you come to the website, but I will go ahead and change these. I'll actually fill this out as if I am filling it out. So we'll start with my age. I am currently 29, but I'll be 30 in a few weeks. So I'll leave this at 30. Let's say I want to retire at 67. Let's say that's the traditional retirement age by the time I get there. So we'll go with 67. Uh, annual spending in retirement. This is how much I would like to spend per year when I actually retire. I'm gonna bump this up to 40. And then current invested assets, I did go and check my spreadsheet. As of the end of May 2023, I have a little over $37,000 invested. This does not count my cash savings. We'll leave this monthly contribution for now at $500. let us leave the growth at 7%. I Honestly, I would expect it to be higher over the, the amount of time that we put here, but I'll leave it at 7 Inflation will leave at three, safe withdrawal rate will leave at four. So if we come down, we'll see that my Coast Fire number at my current age is $234,297. So that means at this point in time, I need over $234,000 to coast to true retirement. And you'll also see in this green section that I would need to increase my monthly contribution to reach Coast Fire before age 67. So this just would not be enough to get me there. Let's bump this up to a thousand. 
And what you'll see as you go through this chart is that the coast fire number is going to change every year of your life. And that's to be expected. This is something that you would want to check on a yearly basis if this is what you're going after to make sure you're on track and adjust if needed. If you need to invest more or if you could slow down, whatever the case may be. With this situation, if I'm, if I'm putting a thousand aside per month, I'll be able to stop at the age of 57 and then from there I would be able to, to coast to fire. But, but as you can see, my coast fire number is now $650,000. And that's basically it. So you want to mess around with numbers and see how much you need to invest in order to get to Coast Fi as quickly as you as you want to or as quickly as you can. So I'm going to actually bump this growth up to 8% because I think it will be a little bit higher. And I'm going to say I can do 2000 per month. And with that change, it does change my Coast Fire number. So if I had 164,000 invested right now, I would be able to coast to retirement. However, I would be seven years from, from doing that. So around the age of 36 or 37, I would reach a little bit over $220,000 and then could coast to retirement. If I really wanted to speed things up and I'm starting to invest $3,000 per month, of course I'll get there even faster, four years away. So I would be about 34, 35, have a little bit under $200,000 and then I would be good to coast. So yeah, I think it's something that is fun to look at. Definitely a great goal to go after because if you can get to a point where you have enough money invested and you don't need to worry about heavily investing anymore, you can just focus on you know, what type of job you truly want to work or maybe taking a sabbatical, this opens a lot of flexibility to you. So let's talk about that a little bit more. But this calculator will be linked in the description if you want to plug in your numbers, mess around and see what's possible for you, definitely do so. It's very exciting. As you can probably tell by this point, with Coast Fi, you're not actually touching your portfolio. So let's say by the age of 35 or by the age of 40, you have enough money to coast to retirement. You do not want to touch any of that money in your portfolio until you actually reach retirement. So that means you do still need to continue making an income some way in order to keep yourself afloat. However, you don't have to keep investing. But that's what I love because you also can keep on investing and that's just going to get you closer to early retirement if you wanted to. So Coast Buy is very flexible. Like I said, you can continue to invest if you want to. The other thing is that you can now pick a job that resonates with you more, something either you can take a part-time job or take a pay cut if you wanted to, doing something that is more enjoyable for you. Some people may take their side hustles full-time when they once they reach Coast Fi, and then whatever they generate from their business, they will use for their everyday expenses. This also allows you to spend more if you wanted to. So if you don't have to put money toward investments, how much money would that free up? And now you can spend that on travel or other things that are important to you. The cons with Coast Fi, I would say it's a lot of upfront work. So you do have to invest quite a bit in the beginning so that you can reach that number faster if that's what you want to go after. And of course that typically comes with sacrifices. So either you are earning a lot of money and you can do that very quickly, but sometimes that could be a very stressful job or you may be investing 70, 80% of your income and, and limiting how much you spend on things that you want to or going to, to travel. I don't think it's too big of a con though, just because if you are going after any form of financial independence, you probably are already doing that. The second thing is that it is a moving number. So that number I was showing you kept moving with everything that I was adjusting. So you will want to check in every single year and make sure you are on track. It's all based on assumptions. I mean, that's the same thing with all forms of financial independence, but it is based on some pretty heavy assumptions that you're investing the same amount every month, that the rate you're earning is the same and a number of other factors. So that is something to look out for. If you calculate your number once and it's telling you that it's gonna take you seven years to reach Coast Fi and you're like, okay, then in seven years, I'm, I'm good to go. That's not necessarily true because you do wanna pay attention to the market, how that is performing. Maybe for the whole seven years that you've been investing, you've been 
been losing money. Uh, it just depends on the economy. Maybe there were some months that you were not investing $2,000 like you plugged into the calculator. So you need to make up for that. So definitely check in on that on a regular basis. But honestly, overall, I think it is amazing. Like I said, this is one of my favorite varieties of financial independence. This is such a great stepping stone to everything else. Once you reach Coast Buy, it's like a breath of fresh air is what I would imagine because you spent so much time investing all this money and you could continue to invest, but you could slow that down and just slow down your life, do what you want to start going traveling. Uh, and I think that is so exciting. I think if somebody reaches Coast Fi, but then afterwards they are still able to invest, even if it's only, you know, 10%, some smaller amount than what they were doing before, I think they should continue to do that just because it's it's going to just help you in the long run. Like if it's not going to take away from your everyday life, you can still afford the things that you want to, then that's only going to help you in your future. You're gonna have a larger nest egg. You could potentially retire earlier and then you're just prepared for any potential fallbacks in the future. If you are going after Coast Financial Independence or if you have already achieved it, I would definitely love to hear from you. So please comment down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to drop your opinions down below about Coast Fi. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.